Hello, we're here for day three of the trial of Adam Smith Connor. Just to give you an update on what's happened so far and what to expect today in this third and final day. So initially it was claimed by Adam's defence team that there had been an abusive process which would have meant we wouldn't continue to a trial in itself um, if the law was being used for an um, improper use. The judge actually said that she needed to hear the whole of the case before she could make a definite decision on that. So after a brief pause, we actually continued straight into the trial yesterday. So we've heard from two witnesses for, from the prosecution so far. Initially on day one, we heard from Ms Howlett. Now, Ms Howlett works for the council at Bournemouth, and she took the lead in the consultation and the implementation of the PSPO around Bournemouth Abortion Centre. So she was cross-examined by Adams Defence Council um, as to what she believed the PSPO did or didn't ban at the time of her communications with Adam by email prior to him having the fixed penalty notice. So that was discussed on day one. And then yesterday we heard from the second of the prosecution's witnesses, which was Ms Brookfield. Now, Ms Brookfield was the lady, again, employed by the council as part of their antisocial behaviour team. She was the lady who actually gave Adam the fixed penalty notice in November 2022. Um, so um, Ms Brookfield was cross-examined again by Adam's Defence Council um, as to what she saw on that day when she gave Adam the fixed penalty notice. She was um, sat in court whilst various sections of the video were played that were recorded on her body camera while she was interacting with Adam on that day. And she was then asked... Um, about what she actually saw before she spoke to Adam. And although she approached Adam um, from behind and he was standing behind a tree, um, she said it was her belief that she could um, see that Adam was praying and she believed that before she even spoke to him from his posture. So that was discussed yesterday. Um, we now continue into the third and final day today. There will um, be um, Adam again, um, speaking in court today and then we will have a summing up from both the prosecution and the defence. Um, we will let you know if the judge does give a final verdict today or if um, her judgment is delayed and we will let you know if that happens um, when she says her judgment will be. So um, in the meantime please do keep praying about this case um, it's so important that we don't wane in our prayers for Adam, for his defence team and for those who will be making that judgment, whether that is today or whether the judgment is delayed until, until a future date. So please keep this in prayer. Um, it's most likely it will be this afternoon before we can get back to you with any um, further updates on the situation. But thank you so much. And I know Adam has indicated he'd really like... Um, those who are, who are viewing and watching to know how grateful he is for the prayer support he's received, not only for him, but for his family who are going through a very difficult time um, while this uh, court process is happening. Um, so thank you so much for those who have prayed so far and we'll keep you updated. Please keep watching our channels for further updates.